Grandma Millie is shrinking. Her height decreases by a quarter centimeter each year. She wants to predict the total change in her height over the next over the next three years. Which of the following equations matches the situation above? So our height is decreasing. So we could view that as the change in our height each year is a negative fourth of a centimeter, and that's going to happen for three years. So we'd multiply negative one fourth times three, which is exactly what's happening in this first choice right over here. Her height is decreasing by a quarter centimeter each year. That's this part right over here. And she's doing this, she's doing this for three years. So after three years, her height Change in height would be negative three fourths of a centimeter. You just multiply this out, which is means that which means that she lost three fourths of a centimeter. Now the second choice would evaluate. If you multiply positive one fourth times negative three, you still get negative three fourths. But this doesn't seem to follow as naturally from the statement up here. We're decreasing by a fourth, so I like putting the negative in front of the fourth. And then we're going in forward in time by three years. It feels weird to put a negative on the three. Uh, we're not going backwards in time here. So even though this, this expression evaluates to the same thing as this first one, the first one seems to better match what this, this statement is describing. And I wouldn't pick none of the above just because I, I found one that I like that I think describes an equation that matches the situation above. Let's do another one of these. A zombie lost three limbs each day for four days. So it's going to lose 12 limbs, three times four. And so uh, it's not a human zombie. It's an alien zombie that has at least 12 limbs to lose. The following equation describes this situation. So the zombie lost three limbs each day. So lost three limbs. So negative three could represent, hey, if I, I'm losing three limbs. The negative is it's going, my number of limbs is going down by three. So this is negative three. And it's doing that, it's doing that for four days. For four days. And we have negative 12, which is the total number of limbs that our zombie loses. So what does negative 12 tell us? Well, I just said it. The zombie lost a total of 12 limbs over this time period. Yep, that looks right. Now let's see what are these other ones. The zombie has negative 12 limbs. Well, no, they, to have negative 12, I don't even know what a negative limb would, would be. We don't know how many limbs the zombie started with. The zombie, I don't know if it might be some type of centipede zombie or something, it might have had 100 limbs. And if it lost 12 of them, it would now have, 80, it would now have 88 limbs. It, the zombie might have had 12 limbs, and now it has zero limbs. Uh, in fact, I don't, I don't even know how you get to negative limbs. So I don't, I don't, I don't think this makes sense. I'm not going to pick none of the above, because I agree with this first choice. Let's do one more of these. A certain, whoops, all right. A certain reality TV show lost, so we're losing, so a negative might be a nice way to represent the loss. Lost a total of 9,000 viewers over the past three months. So over three months. It lost the same number of viewers each month. The following equation describes the situation. So it lost a total of 9,000 viewers and it did it over three months. So what they're figuring out here is how much, what was the change in viewership? What was the change in viewership per month? So it tells us, the negative 3,000 tells us that they lost on average, on average, and actually it tells us they lost the same number. So this is actually, it's the same number every month. So it actually, they actually lost 3,000 viewers every month. So let's see which of these choices match up to that. There are 3,000 fewer people watching the show compared to three months ago. No, they lost 3,000 every month. That's what this is telling us. Every month for three months. There's the same number each month. They lost 3,000 every month for three months for a total of 9,000. So this isn't right. The total change in the number of people watching the show is negative 3,000. Over a month, that would be true, but the total change was 9,000. So, or negative 9,000, I guess I could say. They lost 9,000. And so I would say none of the above. What the negative 3,000 tells us, if there was a choice that said, each month they lost 3,000 viewers, that's a choice that I would pick. So I would say none of the above.